Hey everybody, uh, today I want to talk to you about a different way to obtain water when you're out in the woods in, let's say, a survival situation. Um, you're not always going to run across clean, fresh water, and if you need to get fresh water in a, in a quick way and um, without having to boil it, anything like that, what I want you to keep an eye out for is what I have right behind me. Now this is called a water vine. These things um, are pretty invasive, but um, at the same time, they provide a lot of resources for you. Um, the problem we have on my property is these water vines are trying to take over a lot of my fruit-bearing trees and smaller canopy trees. What they do is they'll grow around them and kind of constrict them and cut off all their nutrients. But what they do do is they are loaded with water. Now I'm going to show you the best I can how much water comes out of them. So I'm going to take this small one. What we're going to do is we're just going to kind of break it best I can. <coughs> now this one might not have a lot. Okay, here we go. Perfect. If you can see that water dripping out of there, they are loaded with water. So if you just put your container underneath here, this is where I made that cut. That's all you got to do. And they, these vines contain a lot of moisture. So you cut one, put a container, your canteen, whatever you have, uh, even a plastic bag to fill it. This is pure, purified water. It's good to drink right away. It's not going to hurt you. Uh, crystal clear. It's, it's good, good water to drink. So in a survival situation, you want to look out for these vines, okay? They're called water vines. Um, they come in, in handy with a lot of things. For one, I make baskets out of these. They, they're very uh, pliable. They bend very good. Um, you take the strips that come off of it, and you can actually make cordage. If you get the long enough strips, braid them together. But the main thing you can look for in a survival situation is they are, this thing's still dripping, still going. Great for a water source. So, if you ever see water vines, you'll notice them. They grow out of the ground and they get huge. You know, they can go very, very long. These ones here are 50 feet long or more. And uh, cut them to where there's a good angle coming down from the tree that you could just attach a water source or a, a container to. And within 20, 30 minutes, you'll, you'll have a full bottle. But what I do is I'll cut a few, put my containers around, fill them all up so I have a good supply. So there you go. Survival tip on how to obtain water when you don't have a way to boil it or you cannot find fresh water. Look for a water bottle.